facility we have. Uh, I this is Dr. John Adrico, the program manager, biotechnology and biodiversity at National Agricultural Research Laboratories in Kawande. He is addressing agricultural researchers from member countries of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development. They are here on account of pests and diseases affecting farming in the region. It is from the conventional pest, uh, pest and disease management to the new approaches to the environmentally friendly approaches those are some of the things that we are we are we are looking at focus is on the fall armyworm that affects maize among other crops so as eagad we are actively uh, in the processes of uh, integrating everyone in development and building capacity so one of the aspects of this platform on transbordery pests, as I highlighted earlier on, is a capacity building which involves a lot of capacity exchange in areas of needs that the countries identified. So it's something that we need to really pay attention to and move our actions, the research, as well as the, as the implementation of the results of those research uh, into uh, being more proactive. Fortunately, technology to reduce on the use of pesticides against the fall armyworm is being developed. This exactly is what they are here to benchmark on. To take them through is Winnie at all, who is leading the research. So we prefer them to lay their eggs on the paper mm -hmm. and even if the leaf is not there, they will definitely lay mm -hmm. on the paper. It is work in progress and both IGAD and World Food Program are impressed. Our visit today with this group of experts from the nine countries uh, are very impressed with the work that they're doing in this uh, kind of program on biological control and the use of biopesticides. Such that Uganda doesn't have to go through all the steps of development, investment, labs, but what they can do is take the knowledge on qualia birds management from what is already done by DLCO, by Ethiopia, by uh, Tanzania. But one setback could hold back researchers. The initiative is reliant on donor and foreign funding. For example, if a project is working in three districts, definitely we will only be able to reach those three districts. So there is now need to upscale these technologies. For example, management of Tuta Absoluta, we have done this in Masaka and in Namutumba, and it is really working very well. We have positive reports from the farmers where we have released these insects to feed on the Tuta Absoluta. But that is where it will end, because when the project ends, we don't have the, the, the funds to continue producing and mass releasing these insects. What will happen after project and funding expiry? will be requirement of support from government, which in such as say, is still not sufficient. Asante tena. Henry Okrut, UBC.